I'll call to order tonight's city council meeting on a regular schedule with council meeting on Monday, November 21st, 2022, at approximately 7.04 p.m. So we appreciate everyone being there. The records reflect all council members are present, along with our city administrator, Ms. Vance, and our head of multiple departments and running the online tonight, Mr. Deerhoff. Um, there are staff members of there, our city attorney, Mr. Hughes, to my right, and our city attorney, Cindy, you know, who keeps it all the stuff as she can. We appreciate it. And those of you who came tonight, we certainly appreciate this. is one of the largest crowds we've had. We know you're here for the business uh, items that are listed here, so we will skip the uh, proclamations. I hope y'all can see We're gone. Okay. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> So we appreciate it. One thing uh, I do uh, want to bring your attention it was, was sadness today that we learned of the passing of our longtime city resident, businessman, former mayor, Mr. L.S. Green, at age 102. So we would ask you to keep uh, his family and those uh, that were close to him in your prayers uh, as uh, we go through the next few days while they make final arrangements during the holiday season. Uh, from that standpoint, uh, tonight our invocation and our pledge of allegiance will be uh, led by Councilman Mr. Allgood. If you'd like to pray with me, please do so now. <coughs> to have the Father, we come tonight to conduct the city's business. We ask that you continue to enlighten, inspire, and guide us in and out of the council chambers. As we approach Thanksgiving, we are thankful and blessed to have great department heads and their teams that serve this city well. We are also thankful and inspired by the young people who are here today, the future leaders of Malden or abroad. We also remember the Green family. We pray for, for them in this time of grief. We also pray for our citizens, including those who are homeless, sick, or feel I or not love. And we do this all in your name. We pray. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Under proclamations and reservations tonight, we'll come up from our, I believe, our police chief, Chief Miller. Council. Uh, one of Council's goals and uh, my, one of my objectives is to was to establish a stronger bond from the police department and community. Uh, we have had a citizens academy several years, so I thought bringing that back would be a, a good foundation for a stronger relationship. Uh, Sergeant Turner uh, has spearheaded the class and been a great instructor and asset to the department and the program. Uh, at this time, he, he'll come up, give a, he'll say a couple things, and then we'll present the uh, certificates. Thank you, everybody, for letting us be here tonight. 2022 marked our seventh annual Police Citizens Academy. I'd like to thank Chief and City Council uh, after providing this program after a short hiatus. I'd like to thank our participants for making it all possible. The program was designed to help bridge the gap between our citizens, police officers, and serving. By building trust and partnering with one another, we can help make our community a safer place for everyone. This year, the Citizens Academy spanned over an eight week period, meeting every Monday evening for three hours. Our Citizens Academy members took the time out of their lives to have an inside look at what we do here from all the police department behind the scenes. They have a variety of police officers from our department teach several topics from our canine division, DUI traffic enforcement, detective unit, crime prevention, victims advocate, use of force, and the citizens' response to active shooter. 
Uh, I encourage all of our citizens county participants to complete their critique program so we can know what to improve each year as we continue to move forward and hopefully work these out and we need to grow the program and have more participants. Uh, but from the bottom of my heart, I thank you all for being here. Thank you very much. At this time, we'd like to present the certificates. Sakisha Roberts. Jane Stern. John Tuskin. Scott Pink. I also like to thank him because he comes on Wednesdays for court and helps us with security, rain, sleet, snow, whatever it may be. So we greatly appreciate him. Thank you, sir. One of our two class clowns, Ray Manley. <laughs> D. Okay, we'll take top over. Yeah, yes, sir. Mr. Randy. That's the other. That's the second. Thank you, sir. <laughs> you haven't learned. Oh my, you haven't learned. Ben Check. Absolutely appreciate it. Everybody else, you have my contact information. You need something, just let me know. Stay in touch, okay? Don't forget those ride longs too, because you got six months. Okay. Keep our office on the road, all right? Thank you. <laughs> I believe this was uh, Randy Escher's third time to try to graduate. <laughs> we finally one felt, learner. We had to just go ahead and pass him. We felt bad. So. <laughs> 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 that one left behind. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Randy. Thank you, guys. Uh, also, it's always a great privilege for me to present proclamations, and especially with the champions. So I'm going to ask our uh, Chair of Recreation, Mr. Alden, to join me down front. We have a special proclamation to present. Whereas the 2022-2022 Malden High School girls volleyball team, led by head coach Valerie Thomas and assistant head coach Selena Walker, finished the season 32 and 7. And whereas Malden's volleyball team has won the here we go, guys, 5A state championship for the first time. program history. And whereas the Mavericks won the title over Lexington in a three-set sweep, Lowell the men with the 25-22, let them think about it with the 25-22 and blew them away with the 25-18. And whereas the Mavericks are also the first Greenville County Public School to win a volleyball title since Hillcrest in 2013. Whereas the Marlin High School girls volleyball team consists of, I apologize, I said, uh, I butchered your name, correct me, can we get it on tape correctly? Maddie Powell, Sydney Scher, Ella Lester, Jasmine Buford, Journey Robinson, Allison Norris, Mia or Maya, Mia, good, Roja, Kaylee Goodwin, Serena Gallon, yeah, yeah, Anna Schneider, Olivia Davis, Jaden Crow, Ella Ferguson, and Lena Scott, through hard work and dedication, persevered and won the championship. Now, therefore, be it proclaimed that I, Terry Merritt, Mayor of the City of Malden, along with my fellow council members, do hereby proclaim November twenty first, twenty twenty two 
as modeling high school girls volleyball team day and recognizing them for winning the state 5A championship. If you would, the head coach and the assistant coach, you want to come up front, please? You want to bring the, you want to bring the championship trophies? My assistant coach is Oh, so nice. I wish I could. Yeah, she's in my family. Congratulations, head coach of the 2022 Wallen High School Varsity Girls Volleyball Team, Region 5 A State Champions. 21st day of November 2022. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yes, I call your name. You come join us up here. <laughs> yes, that's right. Yeah. So, um... <laughs> oh, in our they're not here, we're just here. Maddie Powell. Sydney. Sydney Shoe. Ella Lester. I don't think everybody's like here. What are they? We got practice. <laughs> Practice. <laughs> 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 Mayor may need to stand up front. Mm -hmm. Right? They're so tall. <laughs> I know. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Get on your tippy toes, Mayor. <laughs> Congratulations, ladies, and of course, and as always. <laughs> I'm just a only recording. I know. I'm going to be a flashback. <laughs> 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 
Thank you. 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 Thank
public safety, Ms. Kingman. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Before I I just have a couple of things, but I think we skipped over the city administrator report. Do we want to get back or <laughs> you want me to continue? Uh, go ahead and once your report's done, I'll jump okay. back. All right, excellent. Um, just wanted to thank Sergeant Turner. I guess he's already he slid out. Slid out. Be sure to tell him I said thank you for his hard work and dedication with the um, academy. I think we had eight. Yes, candidates that went through. So it's always good to see not only our Youth Police Academy, but the Citizens Academy as well. And we encourage y'all to spread the word and um, have other folks participate in the future. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. That's all I got for you, Mayor. And we can go backwards now. Thank you, Ms. <laughs> King. Uh, yeah, now let me get my numbers straight. Before our city administrator, Ms. Hanks. Mayor and Council, I have a few items. Uh, just as, as you guys know, the city's uh, finishing up its financial audit for. <laughs> Uh, that ended June 30, 2022. We have received an unmodified opinion, which is the highest level an audit auditor can award. It uh, means all of our documents that the city staff um, submitted were not modified or changed. Um, there were no concerns or, or deficiencies. The city remains in strong financial condition. Uh, those documents will be finalized at the end of this month and be available to council and to the public in, in December once we can get them on the website. So you guys have ended the year on a positive and are moving forward. The next uh, thing I wanted to remind you guys of for those council members that uh, received city health insurance now is open enrollment period. Um, and the other item, December 6th is the Christmas dinner for boards and commissions. If you guys, uh, hopefully that's already on your calendar. And Seth does start on, Mr. Duncan starts on Monday. So as I mentioned in an email to you guys, I will be here Tuesday and Wednesday with him. And then we'll determine kind of how he wants to make the transition and when he um, you know, I'm available as much or as little as you guys need me moving forward. So I, this will probably be my last council meeting, especially sitting up here. So I do want to thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for um, you guys being great to me for the past few months. I enjoyed it. You have a great staff, a great city, and I hope I get to come back and visit. I hope you guys will invite me back. And uh, um, you guys should be very proud of the city you have and the leaders you have and the, and the staff that you have. So thank you. I have no words. Uh, oh. I feel sure Mr. Matt oh, will. Geez. The words, if you wouldn't mind, for the job that we have seen from our interim to administer these has been phenomenal. At the, the brief week that we were without an administrator until David stepped up and filled in, taught us all a very valuable lesson is just how important. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I just want to monitor the things that we have in this council that we've been very aggressive with in our city, and that you've done a phenomenal job of stepping in. Um, we thought JR got the fire hose method when he came on board, but you got all trucks lined up aiming at the same time. Thank you. Wanted to say something. I did. Yeah, I did, I did. Thank you, Mary. Um, no, I just wanted to say thank you, Rebecca. Um, you have not been here a long time, but you have been here a powerful time. I told somebody today that I felt that there was a brief period where it seemed like somebody had taken uh, a, a jigsaw puzzle box and dumped it on the floor and kicked the pieces under the furniture. <laughs> And you came along and you got all of those pieces back and you presented it to council and said, here's the complete picture. Um, you did a tremendous job. Um, not only did you fill the, that office uh, with a tremendous amount of professionalism, you were able to work with uh, our outstanding department heads, our outstanding professional staff across all departments. Uh, and each and every one of them stood behind you uh, and applauded the job that you did. And I think that that speaks volumes about not only who you are as a professional, but who you are as a person. And I value the relationship that we have built both personally and professionally. And I um, am just so grateful that you have been a part of the city of Malden and appreciate the fact that you're going to stick around for a few minutes and help, help uh, Seth figure out where the bathroom is. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. And it's all 
Our law council said amen to that. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Matt. Um, no good words, Mr. Craven. <clears throat> Um, nothing uh, major to discuss. I just uh, I noticed a couple of leaves have fallen, and uh, <laughs> I just want to commend the uh, public works uh, for keeping up with the leaves as I've driven around town and seen a lot of them there one day going to mess. And I said that they did a pretty good job under uh, a lot of stress, a lot of leaves on the side. Thank you, Thank you Mr. Craven. I did not pour up. I got about seven ton of them down the roadway today. Welcome your guys to my <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Craven. Uh, if you're not planning development, Mr. Matt. I'll hush around there. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I talked like to say to Ms. Vance, thank you so much. It, it, it's been a real joy. And I back up what uh, <laughs> Um, on to the building codes. They had 1,745 building inspections in October and 15 new businesses opened in October in the city of Auburn. And that's all I have. Preparation is probably. Thank you, Mayor. I have no report at this time. Sure. Next item on Joe's unfinished business. Is this ordinances second reading this book? <coughs> There are three ordinances um, associated with the annexation and establishment of Tanner Road plan development. The first is an ordinance to provide for the annexation of property owned by W. Earl Jones and Nancy L. Jones and located at 30 Tanner Road by 100% petition method and to establish the zoning classification of PV plan development for said property. Thanks, Mr. Coming from BDS, Ms. Cooper. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. At this time, I would like to approve the uh, motion or make a motion to approve on second reading. You have the motion to second. 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 Matt, any discussion? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I just. All in favor of the development. Um, a little <coughs> worried about what SDOT is offering up for the roads in that area. I'm just you know, taking off a traffic light and putting in a, a median that people can follow through on the camera, cross over, worry. And making it more difficult for people to turn left if they're on Tanner or Burden, for that matter, on the Tanner. So uh, just worries me a little bit. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, just real briefly, as, as I look at this and saw this project come through, um, I appreciate it. I don't know this developer from any other developer. Um, it's everyone through the city, but one thing I appreciate about the way we handled this was they listened to the concerns of council, held off on votes, asked us to let them get more information and bring forward something that is reflective of our concerns. So, as you have the partnership with developers and looking for repeat projects like this, I can just appreciate that kind of relationship with developers. Just wanted to uh, bring comment to that. Thank you, Mr. Rose. Anyone else? Here, none. All those in favor of the motion to approve the ordinance for the uh, Mr. Earl Jones and the Nancy Jones up here at 30 County Road say aye. 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 Those opposed, like so. And none of the motion carries. The ordinance is an ordinance to provide for the annexation of property owned by W. Earl Jones and located at 30 Tanner Road, a 100% petition method and establish his own classification. Development. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. At this time, I would like to uh, make a motion to approve track two um, on second reading. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. Second, Mr. Mayor. Any discussion? Hearing that all those in favor of the motion to approve on second reading and annexation of property on track two say aye. 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 Those opposed, like sign. 
Here, none of the motion carries you know. No. Last ordinance is an ordinance to provide the annexation of property owned by C. Lynn Farmer and Elaine Askey and located at 50 Tanner Road. I 100% petition method and to establish the zoning classification of PD and development. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Ms. Kuzner. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. At this time, I'd like to make a motion to approve track three on second reading. Is there a second? Second. Second. Mr. Reynolds, any discussion? Here now, I'll just take a approval of the second reading ordinance for the track of 50 Town Road, Mr. Lynn Farmer, and I'll ask you to say aye. Aye. Those opposed, like sign. Here now, the motion carries unanimous. <coughs> Next is new business. First reading, Miss Miller. We have one ordinance for first reading, and this is an ordinance to amend the modern zoning ordinance, establishing definitions, standards, and prohibitions for drive through facilities. And this is also coming out of BBS, Miss Kuzner. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, this is drive through standards for. Um, a simple redevelopment and also kind of uh, changing some of our tweaking, I should say, some of the other um, drive through facilities and queuing and things like that. Uh, this was approved through the Planning Commission on November the 7th, uh, I'm sorry, October 25th. Um, so at this time, I'd like to make a motion to approve this on first reading. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. Second, Mr. McNeil. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of the motion to approve the first reading of the amendment to the zoning ordinance establishing definition standards for omissions and drive through So we say aye. 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 Those opposed, like sign. Council was requested to appoint or for an appointment to the building and zoning board. Standing committee, please come out the same thing. You have a There was a vacancy, the last vacancy on the zoning board of appeals and Mr. Philip Cochran had applied for that. It will be for seat six. And I'd like to make a motion to appoint Mr. Cochran to seat six, which expires at the end of June 2023. Thank you, Ms. Kuzner. There's a second. Second, Mr. Craven. Any discussion? All those in favor of the motion to appoint Mr. Cochran to seat six on the building code committee say aye. Uh, I'm sorry, it's only Board of Appeals. Yep, I read the wrong thing. Board of Appeals. Okay. Hi. I think, <laughs> I think we have it. All those about the flags up. Here, the motion carries down. Thank you. Council is requested to approve the amendment to the mutual aid agreement with the drug enforcement unit. This is public safety, Ms. King. Um, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I'll make a motion to approve the amended agreement with the County Drug Enforcement Unit. The motion is your second. Second. Second, Mr. Craven. Any discussion? Hearing on all those in favor of the approval of the motion for the amended mutual aid with the Drug Enforcement Unit, say aye. 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 Those opposed, like sign. In the motion carries unanimous. Miller. Council is requested to grant a utility easement to Duke Energy for the new fire department headquarters. Also for public safety, Ms. King. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, motion to approve the Duke Energy utility easement. Okay, is there a second? Second. Second, Mr. Craven. Any discussion? You know that all those in favor of the motion to approve the utility say aye. 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 Those opposed, like sign. Hearing none, the motion carries. Yeah. Council was requested to accept an in-car camera grant 
in the amount of $86,542.64. Also, the public side to Ms. King. Thank you again, Mr. Mayor. Um, I would just like to note that this is something that um, the late Sergeant Sam Harrell worked hard um, for the police department. Um, and I know we're all very appreciative of that. Um, with the acceptance of this grant, the police department will be able to purchase um, approximately 16 cameras. So I'd like to make a motion to accept the grant um, for the purchase of the cameras. Thank you, Mr. Keyes. Second. Second. Second, Mr. Matney. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of the motion to accept the grant for purchase of cameras say aye. 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 Those opposed, like sign. Motion carries. The council was requested to have an assignment of contract with CHA for the continued on call sanitary sewer engineering services for the city. And from Public Works, Mr. Craven. This time I'd like to make a motion uh, to assign uh, CHA the contracts uh, previously held by Fraser Engineering Consult uh, Consultant. Motion. Thank you, Mr. Craven. Is there a second? Second. Second, Ms. King. Is there any discussion? Mr. Craven. <clears throat> Just for a uh, bit, basically, CHA has purchased Fraser Engineering, so this is just a swap of interest. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Craven. Section of the section. <clears throat> Okay, the motion is to accept the recommendation that we assign the on call sanitary engineer, sewer engineer contract to CHA consultant. All those favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, life sign. Motion carries unanimous. Council is requested to approve and authorize the use of municipal state highway project agreement for the Butler Road repaving project. Virtually, Mr. Craven. Uh, yes, uh, we still have a few questions and one answer from South Carolina DOT. So at this time, I'd like to make a motion to hold on the floor uh, the municipal state highway project agreement until next month. Okay, motion to hold on the floor until our next regular schedule council meeting in December. Is there a second? Second. Mr. Aubrey. Second. Any discussion? <clears throat> Hearing none, all those in favor of the motion to hold on the floor of the State Highway Project three months until the next regular scheduled council meeting in December. Say aye. 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 Those opposed, like sign. Hearing none, the motion will be held on the floor. Council is requested to approve. Insurance renewal and benefits, proactive ND, and American which is the dental one. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Every year about this time, Mr. Upton gets busy and has to uh, look at the many different insurance options for the city, for uh, city employees, but um, in conjunction with staff. And our city insurance broker, this was competitively bid out. And these are the three that approach the top. Um, so I'd like to make a motion that we approve the renewal with anchor benefits, proactive MP, and emeritus for dental vision. Thank you, Mr. Reynolds. Is there a second? Second. Second, Ms. King. Any discussion? Just one comment, Mr. Mayor. Mr. Reynolds. The only major change to this was increasing the deductible. From sixty-five thousand to seventy-five thousand. Any questions? Hearing none, all those in favor of the motion to approve the renewal of bank of benefits for active MD and Americas on a general vision plan say aye. Aye. Those opposed, like sign. Hearing none, the motion carries unanimous. The next three or four items to come to this body before us on this committee as a whole, what will be the pleasure of council on that consideration? Mayor, I move that we consider items 8I through L with the informal method. 
there's a motion to consider the payment. I in the informal method. It's the meeting in hold. Is there a second? I'll second it. Second, Mr. Reynolds. Any discussion? All those in favor of consideration of the following items informally to the committee in hold say aye. 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 Those opposed, like say. Here now we will consider ourselves as committee of the whole to consider items. I believe that will come from Mr. Patton. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Actually, the resolution that I'm going to propose combines items 8I and 8J. So I would move adoption of a resolution to approve one, an amended and restated development agreement, and second, amended purchase and sale agreement with Parker Group Development LLC and Long Branch Investors LLC, and two, funding for public improvement costs identified in the amendment and restated development agreement. Thank you, Mr. Matty. Is there a second? second. Oh, what he just said. That's good. Okay. That's good. <laughs> Sorry. You're good. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of the motion to accept a resolution to approve an amended and restated development agreement, the second amended purchase and sale agreement with Park Group Development LLC and Long Branch Investors LLC. And funding for public improvement costs to identify the amended and restated development agreement. Say aye. Aye. Those opposed like saying your number motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Matt. Thank you, Mayor. Move for the adoption of a resolution to approve the purchase of property located at 13 Jenkins Court, Mall in South Carolina, 29662. Identify as Greenville County Tax Map number M0030102004002. And the motion, Mr. Matt, needs a second. Second. Second, Ms. King. Any discussion? We are not all those in favor of the motion. Mr. Matt just stated, say aye. 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 Those opposed, like sign. Hearing none, the motion carries. <laughs> uh, next is item L, comes from Building and Development Services. Ms. Cooper. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. At this time, I'd like to make a motion to approve the ordinance, um, an amendment to section 312.3.8, suspension of the sale and rental of moving trucks, trailers, intermodal containers, and temporary portable storage units of the Malden Zoning Ordinance to remove the cessation period for such use previously allowed within the C2 district and to add regulations for said non-conforming use in the C2 district. Thank you, Ms. Cooper. Is there a second? Second. Second. Ms. King, <coughs> please note this is an ordinance, so this will be two readings. So this is the first reading tonight. Is there any discussion? Mr. Lovett. Just a comment, Mr. Mayor. Uh, legal has approved this. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. You know, might pick that up, Mr. Hughes stated affirmative. Oh, there you go. Say it again. Yes. 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 <laughs> Legal has review. Any other discussion? You know, all those in favor of the motion to accept the amendment orders on first reading say aye. 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 Those opposed, like sign. We are, we are now back to the public comments. Uh, have anyone signed up? Is there anyone online? Don't see anyone? All right. Uh, next is council concerns. Ms. Cooser. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I would just like to um, let everyone know there is still a vacant seat on the Planning Commission. Uh, anyone interested in that? Oh, two, I'm sorry, two seats on the Planning Commission uh, that we would like to fill. Um, and I also would like to thank uh, everyone and happy Thanksgiving. Thank you, Mr. Kuzma. Anyone else? Yes, Mr. Rose. No, I'm no, simply the same thing as Bishop. Uh, yeah. Happy Thanksgiving, and I'm not going to be as long winded and as beautiful as Mr. Matt. But thank you for your time for the city. And it really has been a pleasure to get to know you and watch you work professionally with the staff. But um, excited to see what you do moving forward. And uh, 
Just thank you for all your time. I believe it's been a short Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Mayor. I promise not to be long winded this time. Uh, but I do want to remind everybody that we have the tree lighting on Thursday, December 1st at 6 p.m. at the Cultural Center. And the Christmas parade will be Saturday the 3rd at 2 o'clock, going from Malden High School to the Cultural Center. Hope to see everybody there. Happy Thanksgiving. Mr. Manny, just a quick footnote the parade, the uh, there is a float being entered on behalf of elected officials. <coughs> So there's room for all of us. Plus, if you have any guests elected, you'd like to invite uh, a couple of names from the night. But uh, if you'd like to, we uh, would uh, uh, love to have them on the elected official float. Uh, the theme is the gingerbread house. So we look forward to decorating that uh, float in the next week or two. So I'll have would appreciate it. Uh, it'll be in a garage and accessible. Uh, at 214 Fairfield Drive. So, if you have any skills in that, we welcome you over there along with our engineer of record. And uh, see if we can get it built, get it out. You can't have it, it's my job. Mm -hmm. All right. Anything else? For the record, I meant elephant, not all the way That's a fancy word to say. Uh, no take backs. Anything else? Wish all of you a happy Thanksgiving for coming and be safe. And look forward to seeing you again. Good good under what does council pleasure on adjournment? Same age. Motions are second. Very good. Yeah, that's the thing. You're adjourned. Yeah. It's long. I don't know.